Good morning, good morning, and happy Monday, my world. Happy whenever you'll see this in your world, okay? Bien, <laughs> bienvenidos a mi canal. Welcome back to my channel, if you know me. Thank you so much for coming back to see you, girl. Appreciate you. If you do not recognize this face right here, my bad. My name is Latrice. Nice to meet you. And this right here is Faith by Latrice. Yes. <laughs> Where faith is the muscle we exercise around here. <laughs> now let's get on into it. Now dilly dallying me down real quick. <clears throat> Shout out to my guys, um, Kevin and Donovan at Imagine Faith Talk Podcast. Yes, we've been running back because there was episode 47 that I listened to this morning on my way driving. Okay, never mind the things on my face. My skin is so sensitive. Oh, anyway, <laughs> um, all right, boom. So this one is episode 47 and it's called No Money, But I Got It Done Anyway. I said, didn't we just talk about this? Huh? I said... The resourcefulness, this is talking about resourcefulness, okay? And there are two components that <clears throat> ways that if you do these things or if you tap into these things, right, then you'll be able to do this, right? Both, um, well, Kevin talked about his aspect, right, of being able to do something without money. <clears throat> so basically, it's tapping into God and also um, stewarding the relationships you have. In Kevin's case... Right, he was like, they, okay, Kevin is in pentatonics, right? It's a quartet, four people, five people. Forgive me if I don't remember how many people in y'all group, okay? Y'all famous. <laughs> um, so basically, when they first got started, around the time they first got started, they got a contract, they got a deal, they lost it in like a month, and with the money they had after taxes, after paying management a lot, they didn't have that much money. And him, he comes from immigrant parents. So if y'all come from immigrant parents, y'all know. They're like, we brought you to America to become this, this, that, and a third to get this opportunity. And you squandered it. What is this that you're doing? What is happening? What do you... I didn't come here for you to do this, right? Boom. And so he was... At first, he was tripping like, you know, dang, I don't got the money no more. Like, what am I going to do? Da, da, da. But then God showed him. We're going to do this thing without money. Because here's the thing, right? Take a pause. Break. Money does not make you better. You the person. It does not make your character better. It does not give you morals. If anything, it will amplify who you already are. With that being said, something he said God was really showing to him is like, if you focus on me, God's like, if you focus on me, right, I will give you the resources that you need. Here's the important part. And also, I will teach you. I will teach you the kind of person you need to be to rise to the occasion. Let's go back to this whole thing of not having the resources you need, right? For some of us, maybe we don't have the money we need in general, right? But for some of us, that's maybe that's not the case. We good on living situations, all this stuff. But to do the passion you have, to, to be in the career you have, say if you're in the music industry, if you're in the film, in, film industry, right? I know I'm, I told y'all this before. I don't know why I be spilling my guts. Um, yes, I do. That I'm, if I'm called to the industry, the film industry, which I am, right? I know this. The film industry costs a lot of money. There's a lot of hands that it takes to be able to create a film. I'm talking about set designers, the uh, producer, director, writer, um, makeup, grip, camera, all, all those hands. All those hands need to get paid. And aside from that, it's a production itself. Maybe it's graphics, maybe it's CGI, all the things, right? It takes a lot of money to do that. Maybe you're in an industry like that and you don't have the resources. You're like, oh my God. God's like, let's focus right here first, huh? Because we're going to get stuff done. Let's focus on the things we need to focus on to make you a better person. What kind of person do you need to be to be able to handle that in the first place? God's like, let me mold you into the kind of person that you need to be so that you can, so that you won't squander the resources when they get there. Because what, what good is it if someone gives you a million dollars today, but you have poor habits that you squander it tomorrow? Okay. The second thing is stewarding the relationships that you have. Donovan gave a story where his grandfather bought a piece of property for $1. Huh? No, that's fake. No, it's real. Why was he be able to do that? Because the relationship he had with the person with the property said, I'm going to give you this church parking lot right here, this lot right here, but I'm also going to give you the parking lot for free. Why? Because I rock with you like that. One of the greatest resources you will ever have, we will ever have, are relationships. So on your way up, el tema de hoy, on your way up, be mindful. Like I be telling y'all, take an inventory of what you have in your life. What do I have that I can work with right now that I can refine it into a skill? And then after it's a skill, make money off of it. And then who do I have? Like, 
Donovan, I don't know if you remember telling us this in some sessions we had, all the things. Barter before you buy. What? Okay, take that information. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> I'm giving y'all nuggets. All right, listen. I hope somebody got something from this. I hope you have a wonderful day. Listen, I'm hype already. I've been up since six. Thank you to my kind of really new partner. I love you. Um, si nadie te ha dicho hoy, esta día que te estoy hablando a ti mismo. If nobody has told you today, I love you. Because mm -hmm. listen, life be life, but guess what? We are going to prosper regardless. Bye.